Kano man koriki. Omu mo she mi sho mo gege. Gege te mi ye mi yo. Omu mo she mi sho mo gege. Gege te mi ye mi. Mo ni bi shu o mo vajina. Po vajina ko ma ma jo mi le nu o. Baya o mo ba wole. Po ba wole ko ma ma le mi si ta o. E yi mo she mi sho mo gege. Te mi ye mi. Te mi ye mi o. O mo lo la lo ru ko mi. Ah! Mo ti nja wa o biri lo le ti kpe. Ah, te te fu ra ni. A wo o fi ra da ra da re de re de to wa ni lu Nigeria. Te la wo o mi lu mi ka kiri bo gwa ye. Mo fi nja wa o biri lo le mi. E be re kwe wo ni mo gbe wa le ni. Ti we ton kwe ni marriage certificate. O wo ni mo gbe wa. Inje e je mo kwe o fe ge le gbe da ni. Ti o kwa yin. A bi ti e yin fun ra ra yin. Ti e ba shi a la bo. Lo ri bo gbo yi shi a ten shi. E ji la a ro a jok kon. To kwa ba ti lo. E bi o kwa sa fun yin kwe ko fo ko ni shu. Be ni. And when you are tired, the master for you, leave it for God. Leave it to God. Let God fight for you. Yes, God fights. God fights. But the same Bible says, there's a time of war and there's a time of peace. Which means there's a time to fight. There's a time for battle. Well, I'm not really going to go into the issue of um, in-laws now. I'm going to go into the issue of marriage certificate it is a fraud it is fraud plain and simple and i'll tell you why a marriage certificate is a contract it's a document that shows that you have a contract an equal rights contract a partnership contract with a man to whom you marry women go through so much in order to become the favored wife, the alarid is, so to say, the married one with a certificate, just because you want to do it right, you want to do it legally. But guess what? Talk on your body, kuton. Once the man dies, the court says what? Go and bring a will. What is a will? A will is a document written by an individual to say how he wants his estate or what he owns to be distributed. A marriage puts two people together to build an estate. But suddenly one partner dies, and the one who is dead is supposed to have left a document that would share what he built. But he didn't build anything alone. If, for instance, he built a property before he got married, I understand that. But oftentimes, even when they have properties, you still need to sustain it. Take, for instance, my husband. He was a wealthy man before I married him. But guess what? That's what people knew about him. I remember clearly that before we married, he kept saying, oh, I'm indebted. I'm indebted. I have a lot of debt. I have this. And I said, don't worry. His properties were already underwater. He wasn't working. But the special grace and anointing of God upon my life, things changed for him after marriage. But suddenly, I remember clearly in 2015, it took me to the Audi Town office in Inglewood. And he picked out a Q3, an Audi Q3, he said, Oh, Malala, if you can get my properties out of waters, if you can help me, if you save my properties, I will buy you this car, brand new. And I said to him, God will do it. As at that time, I had already started the process. And the process worked. It's what is properties that were already in foreclosure. All of them came out of foreclosure. Not too long after that, he was killed. And guess what family members started saying? Oh, he had the property before. Oh, this. They went as far as committing fraud. Now, the problem we're having is not a problem of family members. It's the problem of the government. It's the problem of legislators. It's the problem of judiciary. And I'll tell you why. When a man dies, 
You cannot ask for a document he has done alone to share what he owns because his life was not lived alone. He lived part of that wife with a woman he called his partner. He signed into marriage. We should not need a will. We should not need a living will. And enough of people telling us to go through, you know, the Senate to get what? To get a document, to get bills, to get laws. And we're spending five, six, ten years. We need an executive order. Yes. Otherwise, women should start reconsidering giving their money to government in the name of getting a marriage certificate because that certificate has proven to be useless in the event of his death, especially when he doesn't have a living will. Start signing prenuptials. Start signing with the man and have it reviewed. Or let's have a government that strengthens the marriage certificate. I'll still come to you more on this. For now, that's about it. See you some other time. God bless you.